Sketch one cycle of the graph using amplitude, period, phase shift, and the five major points. You must identify the x-coordinate of each major point. The fair function is y equals 2 cosine of 3x plus pi. The first thing we have to do is to find the amplitude. So the amplitude is found by looking at the number in front of our function, which was cosine. And because it's positive, that would be our amplitude. If this were negative, we would take the absolute value. So the amplitude is 2. The period is found by taking the original period of cosine and dividing it by whatever is in front of x, which is 3. The phase shift is found by setting the inside of that function to 0. So x is equal to negative pi over 3, which means that we have a phase shift of pi over 3 to the left. So now I want to find the x-coordinates that are going to extend from negative pi over 3 into the end of the first cycle, which is going to be a length of 2 pi over 3. So let me start by drawing my x-axis. It's going to be starting at negative pi over 3, and then it's going to be ending somewhere, and we could find what that is by just basically adding 2 pi over 3. So then we're going to have half, half, and half. So to find what these next coordinates are going to be, I need to add a quarter of the period each time. So to find what I need to add, I'm going to take a quarter of the period. So a quarter of the 2 pi over 3, 2 goes into 4 twice, so this would be pi over 6. So from negative pi over 3, I'm going to add pi over 6. Now if you look at it, we have two different denominators. So I'm going to make this a little bit easier on myself and change this into a common denominator of 6. So this is treated as negative 2 pi over 6. So then my x-coordinates will be found by adding pi over 6 each time. So let me start from 2 pi, or negative 2 pi over 6, and just add a pi to the top because the bottom will stay a 6. So the next one will be negative pi over 6, 0 pi over 6, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6. Okay, so those are my x coordinates. Now all I need to do is just reduce that. So I have negative pi over 3, then negative pi over 6, 0, pi over 6, and then pi over 3. Okay, so now I know where my y-axis is. Since the amplitude is 2, I need to mark out where 2 would be. Pi is about 3.14, so pi over 3 is about 1. So there's 1, so I need to go a little higher than that. So there's 2. So then all that's left to do is find the y-coordinates. And that's by using the pattern of cosine. So cosine starts at a max, and then an x-intercept, then a min, then an x-intercept, and then it ends at a max. So my y-coordinates using my amplitude of 2 would be 2, 0, negative 2, 0, and 2. So at my first x-coordinate, I'm going to have 2, and then an x-intercept, down to a min, x-intercept, and then my max. Okay, so there we have one cycle.